Okay, so the next challenge for your LEGO Rover bot uh, that we've been playing around with the Mars and the Phobos challenge is to find the red volcano. So here we are. We're going to title our program. Um, this is Mr. Wetmore's program. It's called Mr. W and Volcano. Go. All right, here we are. Now, uh, with our programs, we've talked about how it's useful to put a wait time here in the beginning. So we're going to do that first, and let me give you a preview of some of the blocks we're going to use. Some of them that are new we're going to use, we're going to be using a switch block so that we can uh, let the robot make some decisions. That's kind of the really new one. We'll also throw some sound blocks in there to play a sound when we find the volcano. We might even put something on the robot display. So the first thing we'll do is we'll do that wait block. We'll come on here to our wait, choose time. Put it in our first position. I want to put my wait time to 0.5 seconds. Give me just enough time to push that button, move my hand out of the way, and start the program. Okay, the rest of my code is going to loop. It's going to continue to go so that the robot keeps exploring until it finds the volcano. So here's my loop. I'm going to put all of my other blocks inside this space. First thing the robot is going to do is just start moving forward. Bring a move block over. It defaults to forward and straight, and I'm good with that. I'm going to leave it at 75%, so I'm actually not going to edit this. Just leave it there. Now, once the robot starts moving forward, that's when I want it to start looking for that white line that surrounds our volcano zone. To do that, we're actually going to use a switch block. Now, in program 2A, you used weight light. We're going to use a switch light. I'm going to drag this switch over here. You know, it's right there. It's highlighting. And we're going to go down here and change our switch to light sensor. Okay, now uh, you do want to check that you're plugged into the right port. If this is port 3 on your robot, you're all set. And then over here we have a dark and we have a light setting. Now most of the time we're going to be operating in the dark setting. The uh, robot will be roaming around the floor not seeing the bright white line. We want to talk about what will happen if it sees the line. So there's a couple things we're going to do. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have this robot play some sounds. Uh, so those will be found here under sound. I'll stick it up there. And uh, if you notice over here, you've got a whole list of sounds. Uh, I'm not going to play these sounds because I'm not sure how it will sound over the mic. But uh, I'm going to set that to laughing. And then we'll grab maybe another sound and put it there. And let's set that to hooray. We found it. Oh, let's get back down there. There you go. Hooray. Okay, those blocks are set up. Um, the other thing you can do if you want to, just to really show off that you've found it, you can display things. You notice we have uh, a smile. This will show up on your screen. We have various smiles. Uh, if, if the you think the volcano is dangerous, you could put a frown face on it. A snail sound. Um, See, there's another one in here. Where is it? There it is. Yes, you can put on the skull and crossbones. Um, I guess I'm just going to stick with a smile for this program. With a smile one. There it is. All right. So when I find the volcano zone, my robot will start laughing, say hooray, and smile. Okay. But if it doesn't find the volcano zone, um, what's going to happen is it's going to go down here to this branch of our switch block. I'm not going to put any code in here, because what I want it to do is, if it doesn't find it, I want it to just scoot forward. One more thing, though. When it does find it, what we forgot was our stop. So down here at the bottom, we're on the common palette. You're going to open up the complete palette and go to flow and find the stop. And we're going to bring the stop right there. There it is. There's our stop. Okay, so the program will stop. Now, the next part of the program is going to seem very familiar because what we're doing is we're just going to tell it to look for sonar so it can detect and avoid obstacles, which we've done before, so we'll put that sonar block in there. And if it does detect an obstacle, we'll bring over a move block and put it there. What we're going to do is we're going to have it move backwards, turn slightly, so it can go a different direction. You guys are fairly familiar with that. Don't forget to set both of your move blocks to unlimited. I think I forgot this one. 
That way the robot continues to go that direction until something happens. Now, what do we do now? Because if it's going backwards, it could still, while driving backwards, find that volcano. So what we're going to do is we're going to repeat this switch right here. To do that, I'm going to click on it. On my keyboard, I'm going to press Control c That's going to copy everything inside my switch. I'm going to click over here and Control v and look at this. Down in the bottom of my screen, my switch block and the sound, sound, smile, stop has been pasted. I'm going to drag that up here. And it'll give it a second, it'll come up here. We're going to put it right after that reverse. We'll drop in line. So now, while driving backwards, if the robot drives over the white line of the red volcano zone, it will look in the switch block. If it sees it, the light side will trigger and it'll go up here. It'll play a sound, play a sound, smile, and stop. Stop the entire program. If it doesn't see it, it'll go down to the dark branch, and it'll go down here to the end, and just continue going. Now, while going backwards, well, we don't want to go backwards forever. So we'll go back here to our weight, grab our touch, we'll bring that over, drop it in line. And uh, now, once that touch sensor is triggered, uh, so what's going to happen here is this will go down here and just keep doing what it's doing until this is pressed. Now, I think we can end our loop here, because if we go back to the left, what it'll do is when that touch sensor is triggered, it'll go back here to our drive forward. So really, this program is kind of similar to your first program. The only difference is we're adding these switches. These switches let the robot, while it's driving forward or while it's driving backwards, it allows the robot to look for that white line. And if it sees the right white line, to do kind of some different things, play a sound, smile, and then stop. Um, now, there's one more thing you might want to do. And I'm going to put a move block in here. Right there. And on that move block, I'm going to set it to minus. And what that'll do is it'll make the robot stop driving uh, right before it plays the sound and smiles. That way, uh, while it's playing the sound and smiling, it doesn't continue to drive on out of the volcano zone. So, I'm going to put that move block in. Uh, both of those switches. So, over here, I'm going to drag another move block in here. Set it to minus. Okay, that should complete the program. Now, have it set up so that if my robot finds the red volcano zone, it will stop. Minus on the motors. It'll play a sound laughing. It'll play a sound to say hooray. It'll smile. And then the program will shut down. That should do it. Uh, hopefully this works for you. Have fun.